Uh, moving on now to SMU and head coach June Jones. The Mustangs were 5-7 and seven overall, 4-4 four and four in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, SMU returns 38 letter winners, 13 starters from last year's team, and SMU opens its season August 31st at Baylor. Coach, thank you so much for joining us on the call today, and thanks for your patience while we ran a little behind schedule. Um, if you could tell us, uh, give us a, a brief overview on how your spring went, and then tell us what you can expect from the, from the Mustangs this summer as you head into the 2014 season, please. Well, spring went well. We uh, got through with no uh, injuries for the first time since I've been here, so that was a positive step because we, we uh, uh, you know, you hate to lose guys in practice. And uh, I thought that defensively we made uh, uh, a lot of a lot of strides. We'll be young, I think, uh, as a as a whole. We'll be uh, kind of veteran in different areas. I think we our defensive line. We've got pretty much everybody coming back and. Uh, and adding uh, uh, a young man uh, uh, to that that uh, didn't play uh, last year, Zelt Minor, very much that that had a tremendous spring, uh, and maybe one of those special guys. Um, I thought uh, we addressed our needs uh, at the, in the linebacker area because we're we're losing uh, two kids that uh, played pretty good for us uh, the last couple years, and then on top of that, we. Uh, uh, are going to be young in the secondary, but we have more talent than we've uh, ever had. Horace Richardson had a had a really uh, a good camp. We've got uh, a couple other young kids that uh, got a lot of experience uh, there. So uh, we played a, a young kid at safety last year a little bit during Richardson that I think has a chance to be a great one too. He's from uh, uh, Delray Beach, Florida, and. Uh, so we're we're excited about him and offensively we're just going to be uh, kind of young but uh, we're a lot faster I think as a group uh, skill wise we're adding uh, some young uh, young kids as, that are incoming freshmen that I think will compete right away I think Jeremiah Gaines uh, moving him we moved him to wide receiver which he played in high school he was playing inside for us last year had a great spring and will be a force uh, at wide receiver along with Derek Thompson who kind of has started uh, pretty much uh, every year since he was a freshman. Uh, he's a 4-3-5 guy. So we've really uh, helped ourselves. We have an incoming freshman that uh, is a running back named Daniel Gresham to add to Kevin Pope and Prescott Line. Uh, we're probably deeper and better there than we've ever been. And then at quarterback, I think uh, Neil Burcham, who finished the season when Garrett got injured last year, uh, was a little bit further ahead than, than everybody else. But we have some young kids behind him, uh, two incoming freshmen and a redshirt freshman last year, Colony Castle, that has a lot of ability that uh, will be competitive there. So six young offensive linemen coming in to return three starters that we uh, had. So I think we'll, we'll be, be pretty – Pretty talented, uh, uh, just young. Any questions for Coach June Jones, please? Hit star one on your telephone to join the queue, and the operator will introduce you. We'll take our first question from John Mitchell with Philadelphia Inquirer. Hey, Coach, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Uh, just to go outside of your team just for a moment, can you talk about what you saw from, uh, from P.J. Walker last year as a freshman quarterback at Temple? Yeah, I was uh, very, very impressed uh, with that young man, and I told him so after our game. I thought that the uh, I thought the coaching staff did a fabulous job of putting him in a position to uh, to win, and uh, I think uh, I think they're going to be probably one of the most improved teams uh, this year. Um, I I uh, well, we were fortunate that that they really just kind of got to him. Uh, when we were playing, so so what happened? What happened was I watched the film as the year went on, and he kept getting better and better and better. And you know, he just looks like a winner and a competitor, and uh, you can tell he's a leader too for a young kid. Thank you, coach. We'll take our next question from Shannon Owens with Orlando Sentinel. Good afternoon, coach. Hello. With so many. Hi. With so many young quarterbacks um, in this conference right now, what kind of an opportunity does that present for some more experienced defenses? Well, you know, I think 
teams, uh, you know, the, the normal thing in the National Football League and in college, when you get young quarterbacks, you probably go after them a little bit more until they prove that they know what they're doing and getting the ball out. So I think from that standpoint, schematically, you'll probably see a little bit more blitzing, a little bit more zone blitzing, that type of thing, uh, against the young quarterbacks. But at the same time, uh, you know, you got to be willing to live uh, – you know, live with that. If if the young guy does figure it out and hits hits the right guy, it's either a touchdown or or, or a completion. So, you know, you 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 just got to pick your poison if you're a defensive coordinator. I I I think that the this league has become uh, all of a sudden a real QB featured league, and I think all of us that uh, you know that play in this league go against those type of defenses. We most of the defenses in the conference are are pretty aggressive anyway uh so it's not like uh it's 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 going to be a shock to these young kids when they when they start getting a little bit more pressure when did you notice that evolution where it, it started to become a more quarterback centric league and is that something that you just noticed in this conference or do you think that's something that's happened or, you know is it like a proliferation of well, I think I think what's ha- I think what's happening it's it's a it's a whole the game of football, college uh, and pros uh, with rule changes, with the spread formations, uh, all that kind of thing. I think it's been an evolution, but I think the thing that's happening uh, is that there are more quarterbacks because more quarterbacks are being trained in high school with the same. Uh, spread looks and throwing the football more. So by the time they get to college, they're like they, uh, you know, been doing it all their life. Where it used to be, you get a freshman quarterback in and he hadn't really thrown the ball. You know, he played in a different, you know, a different scheme, and so you had to train him. Uh, I think what's why there's, I mean, there, there's so many more quarterbacks in the state of Texas that are ready to go to college because all the high schools are are spreading it uh, via the evolution of the game. And and uh, I think you, you find more guys that can play. There's been so much uh, more resources available to kids these days to, to develop their, their game on the field, whether it's watching YouTube, whether it's watching, you know, all the Gruden camps and whatnot. Um, but do you feel like there's enough preparation for how kids should build their leadership off the field in light of the fact that there's so much more attention now to college sports and particularly quarterbacks? Well, I think, uh, you know, it's our job to train those kids, you know. Uh, once I get them, I, you know, I, I talk to my QBs all the time about how to act and what, what we expect. And so, you, you know, I always have done that. And so it's never really been an issue with me uh, personally. But, you know, you're, you're always going to have some issue uh, with those type of things. That, that you, you have a target on your, your chest if you're a, a football player. Um, and with the social media and with all the things that that uh, access to, you got to have some rules and regulations, and you know hold the kids accountable. And if you do that, uh, I, I think you avoid the the problems that you're talking about. All right, thanks, Coach. Have a great afternoon. Uh-huh. You too, Coach. We thank you so much for the time today. I look forward to seeing you in Newport at the end of July, and uh, best of luck for a good summer and a, and, a, and a healthy 2014 season, please. Have a great great summer. All right. Thank you. And that's Coach June Jones from SMU.